Hello Space Cowboys, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Let's go talk to Jacob and start his thingy thing. Thingy thing thing thing. Sorry, I'm a little unfocused. Personal matter. It won't affect my duties. I decide what's personal. If it affects my crew, it's my business. Sir, I don't want to distract from our mission, especially if it turns out to be nothing. Text message. Well, I got pinged by a ghost the other night. Family. It's only a waste of time if you jerk me around. Well, that can be taken multiple different My ways. My father was first officer on a ship that went missing ten years ago. I had not talked to him for three years prior. His ship, the Hugo Gernsback, sent an SOS last week, reporting a crash and a request for rescue. Just like that, out of the black. Now, I'm not convinced it isn't just some automated distress signal ticking over. It's been too long. Um... You'd like us to go take a look at the wreck? See if it's legit? If the coordinates aren't too far out of our way, I could at least verify the wreck. Who knows, maybe there is actually someone out there. I want to also mention that I don't make a habit of looking for random SOS signals. This was passed to my personal log through Cerberus filters. Okay, let's go. I think we can spare the time. Pass the coordinates to Joker. I appreciate that, Commander. I don't expect more than dusty old bones, but... It'll be good to close the record. Cutscenes are awesome for answering text messages. Thankfully, I already know what we're doing, even though I wasn't paying attention. Only we're going this way. We're going this way! I said, Shep, 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 Armory. Outside the Armory. Yeah, I remember where we're going, so. Uh, frames! Fraps! Why do you do this? Why? Seriously, look at this! Is it Mass Effect 2 that's that's dropping the frames when I start recordings, or is it just just perhaps being a pile of crap, a pile of, of dog garbage? That's right, I said dog garbage. Do you like me now? Oh, we did have enough fuel to get back. That's good. Okay, let's go buy some fuel and some pro. Wow, we can carry 60 probes now. That's impressive. So we have, what, 58,000 credits? Don't use the Omega-4 relay yet. That leads to the end game. Frames. Frames, I'm telling you. Do you want me to... You know what, Frames? You're grounded. Get to your room. Get... Go to your room! Just kidding. Stay here, because I... No, I, I was kidding! Don't go to your room. Don't go back down. No, Frames. 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 <laughs> okay. I think it... I think it understood that I was joking. And now it's... Nope, it's gone. As soon as I said it, like, ugh. It disappeared. It's a punk. The frames are very stupid and selfish. Narcissistic! They don't like helping me out when I'm trying to record here. They don't get along with fraps, apparently. It's like a big, stupid argument that they're having about who left the toilet seat up. Whatever. Let's go to 2175. Aya. Uh, Named after an Asari scientist. I don't care! I might- Oh, okay, we have to scan for an anomaly. Oh, there's element zero here. I guess as long as we're here, let's get that. Advanced training- Oh. Oh, okay, that's where the anomaly was, anyway. Works for me! Works for me. So let's go investigate this- This call that Jacob was talking about. Oh, I hope there's a cutscene, because I just got- Cutscene, please! Oh, okay. This thing. So, obviously, I have to take Jacob, and who should we take besides Jacob? Uh, have we even used Tally yet? I don't know if we have. Let's use Tally. Well, no. I'm trying to think here. I think Morinth would actually be good for this one. So, let's take her. Alright. Oh, we have five points, so we can max out Dominate, which is good. That's fun. Your domination's duration is vastly increased against a single target or group. Mm. I I kind of want to do... Well, what's the difference? Three seconds and shield strength. I want to go with the single target in one. And then we'll put one point into shockwave. I guess. And Jacob, pass on you. Oh, you have dominate too. Okay. Well, that's good. Cool, I guess. Now we can dominate multiple people. I guess since I just put the single target one, you can have the multiple target one. 
course, throws all we can put points into. And that should do it for now. Okay. Cutscene, please. Yeah, this place looks pretty cool, by the way. There it is. Sticks to an ocean. Intact. It could have survived impact, but it's been years. Next to uh, uh, Mother F and Ocean, man. Oh, fucking ocean! Looks like it was stripped after the crash. They'd have tried to get a beacon up as soon as possible. <laughs> okay. So, so, salvage. Okay, salvage. Oh, there's a the eye here. Hello. From the look of it, this beacon's been here a while. Why would they wait years to signal? Pause in beacon protocol. Eight years, 237 days, seven hours. Pause is recorded as record deleted by acting captain Ronald Taylor. That's not right. My father was first officer. Ronald Taylor was promoted under emergency command protocols. Other flagged issues, unsafe deceleration, local food and neural decay. Beacon activation protocols. Um, sorry, White. <laughs> Why wasn't the beacon activated before now? This emergency beacon became functional after 358 days, 12 hours. Following the unscheduled suborbital descent of the Hugo Gernsback, activation was triggered remotely after 8 years, 237 days, 7 hours, on the authority of Acting Captain Ronald Taylor. Pause in beacon protocol is recorded. Taylor. Record deleted. Local food impairs brain functions. What are the effects? Impairment of mental function due to chemical imbalance begins within seven days of ingesting local flora, regardless of decontamination or preparation. Impact on higher cognitive abilities and long-term memory is cumulative, but significant within a standard month. It is not known if neural decay is permanent. Data collection was not completed. Okay. Come on, let's get going. Let's check the ship. My mm. father had the beacon for almost nine years. Maybe that neural decay affected him. It is unlikely anyone could avoid the effects for so long. And of course, Morinth acts exactly like Samara now. Except we know in our hearts she is indeed Morinth. Okay. My computer does not like this area, but perhaps, seriously. Maybe it's just perhaps being a piece of crap, but I should probably stop mentioning it. Well, you can see for yourself, the frames are kind of going... They're farting in my face. It smells like beans and tuna. I don't appreciate it. I would much rather smell something like a breakfast burrito if someone had to fart on me. But no, has to be tuna. Be tuna. Should stop feeding my computer tuna, but don't listen to myself. You can't expect the luxury of doo-doo do process, but this isn't a military ship. Just bumping the command line up a notch doesn't work. Ca Captain Fairchild knew this crew crew crew. His replacement doesn't command the same level of respect. I'm hoping the man has an idea, but I don't Okay. I totally wasn't paying attention. Doctor's log. What? Never What's feed me pets. Sarah? S Suzanne? My god, I can't remember. I can't remember her face. We need to get out. So I can remember. C can think straight. They have to hurry. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to tell a story to someone on the phone. Through text. Through the medium of text messaging. It's a really funny story, and I should probably... I can, I might as well tell it right now, since I've got it in my brain. I'll just ignore you. Uh, I, back in high school, just a year ago, it's like, so many years ago! No, just last year, I had a, an English teacher. 
And he used to, he's one of those teachers that would get sidetracked really easily. Also, cutscene, hold on. From the sky? Oh, the yes. The leader said someone would come. He delayed for so long, but he still has power. Some have lost faith. The hunters, they will have seen your star. They will not let you help him. Who are you? What was your rank on the Gurn's back? Uh, I, I, I can't think. The leader thinks for us and, and we serve. So, so we can go home. But some want to fight him. They were cast out. He exiled them. So they hunt his machines and those who help him. They don't believe that rescue will come. Yeah, I purposely, purposefully avoided that, even though Kill them. I wasn't Agents paying the that much attention. Not right, so there, there are enemies. And there are all organics, which is why I said bring along Morinth. She has Dominate. And so do we. Of course, these are feral humans, so what the hell does it matter if we brainwash them? They're already kind of brain dead. As that VI told us. Let's, let's go ahead and use... Use what's it called on one of them. Right over there. Right on your ass, as Grunt would say. Wow, I can't get a... I already got any of these. There's one right there. Okay. I was gonna say, can't get a shot off on any of those people, but let's just throw another one of those at you. Hey, you! Oh, you're dead. Okay. Do these guys die afterwards, or do they just. St wow, he's just crouching in the corner. Are you kidding me now? Get out of here. I slap you. I slap you. I don't care if your brains are dead. I slap you. Maybe he's affected by it too. Yeah, so I had this this English teacher last year. Now there's another cutscene. God damn it, Mass Effect! I want to tell my story. That my crazy English teacher. Come on. Let's just get this cutscene over with then. Okay, clearly docile but in the same uniform remnants as those who attacked us. Okay. Is this an earlier stage, or did the exile make the others violent? In either case, it's strange to see such a clean divide of your genders. It doesn't matter right now. One of these people must know what my father has to do with this. You have his face. He promised to call the sky, but he sends nothing. He forced us to eat. To decay. You are cursed with his face. You certainly seem to have a way with words. You heard her. I had his face. My father forced the crew to eat toxic food. What the hell? Oh, okay, we're out of the cutscene. And send. Okay, cool. Story has been told. So, I don't think we even need to talk to these people. I'll just get some Look of this stuff. spoiled food stores. <laughs> They've been eating only that toxic local food for who knows how long. Like that wasn't obvious enough. Jacob's pretty angry. Doesn't matter if I talk to you. No, so there was this English teacher, and he, he would always, like, tell stories during class. Like, <laughs> I think this story happened while we were going over Frankenstein, the book. The original book. Uh, Mary Shelley. Uh, oh, people. Angry people. A very angry. Well, so this story happened to do with when he was in high school. It was probably, like, 30 years ago, I guess. He's, like, 40. Early 40s, I guess. And, uh, System not designed he, I, he always would say he was kind of like a, a puny guy in high school. He's pretty, he's pretty, um, Excuse you know, well, well built these days. He works out, swims and jogs, and does all that. So he's pretty, pretty in good shape right now. But back then he was pretty scrawny, according to him. And, oh, 